Hi everyone, Carol Brightbill. I want to share with you some Google Calendar efficiency tips that I think will make your day a lot better. Tip number one, change the view of your calendar. Right now my view is in month view, but if I hit the drop down arrow, I can change it to day view, week view, month, year, schedule, and two weeks. Also in this area, I can show weekends, decline events, completed tasks, and appointment schedules. And with the ability to do this, you're not stuck with looking at month view all day. If you want to see, okay, how's my day for today? Just change it for day view. Go back then and change it back to month view. This is a great way to control the view of your calendar. Tip number two. Google has now incorporated tasks right in the upper right here of your calendar bar. You can switch now to your task and back to your calendar very easily. You could come right to task and if you need to add a task, add it right here and it will add the title, details, date and time. Switch back to calendar and that task will appear on your calendar. Tip number three. Google Calendar gives you the ability to share your calendar with other people and have them share their calendar with you. You can create a team calendar where people can put events on and such for your team and that calendar can be shared. You can also subscribe to other calendars such as a full moon, Philadelphia Flyers. You don't have to crowd the view of your Google Calendar by showing all these calendars at the same time. If you go to the left menu where your calendars are, you can see a check mark and you can turn calendars on and off. And it all depends on how busy you want your view to look. I personally just like seeing my calendar, what I have to do. And I can turn on other calendars that involves my team if I have to see what's going on. Tip number four is don't forget to go into your settings and change them to readjust your calendar even further. To go to the settings, just go to the upper right and look for the gear icon. Selecting the gear icon, select settings. This takes you into the general settings. There's a lot of things that you can change in here from your language, time zone, world clock. Work your way down to see how you can adjust this to make it more to your liking. Here's another area for the view options. And in this area, you can reduce the brightness of past events. You can even come down further and this is where you can set your working hours so that people won't invite you to calendar events that do not fall within this range. And the last tip I want to share with you, tip number five, are other notifications. To get to this area, you want to go to the name calendar on the left menu, go to the three dot ellipse, and go to settings and sharing. In this, you want to look at the left menu and you want to select other notifications. I wanted to show you this area because sometimes people have it set to none for these areas, and this is where you might have a calendar event for a meeting coming up and someone's changed it. And if you don't get an email notification, you won't know that. Maybe that event is canceled and you're not getting an email notification. You wouldn't know that. And my last favorite on this area for other notifications is a daily agenda. When you have this set to email, every morning at 5 a.m., you'll get an email of your agenda for the day. That way you can plan your schedule out for what you have to do. I hope you enjoy these five efficiency tips for Google Calendar. And if you'd like this, please consider subscribing to my channel. Have a great day, everyone.